In this video, we're going to be talking about the shallow cross concept, why I believe it's one of the best concepts in all of Madden. I think it's one of the best concepts in real life, and I also think it is certainly one of the best concepts in uh, Madden for sure. Now, shallow cross concept, we're going to be talking about this. This is an air raid staple, but you can do this out of a lot of different formations. If you want to get my entire air raid offensive ebook, make sure to become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. All right, so let's take a look here at the shallow cross play. I love this play. It's one of my favorite plays in uh, the game. And what shallow cross basically is, is it is known as that. I'm also pretty sure it's called uh, 91 in air raid terminology. But if you look over here at concepts, you're going to see shallow cross concept. What is a shallow cross concept? In essence, it is a shallow crossing route. Uh, paired with a backside dig route. And then the rest of the routes are kind of up to you, but generally speaking, they're going to be vertical routes. So like the Shark HB wheel is an example of a decent shallow cross concept. Uh, let me see if I can find you another one here. Why shallow cross? This is a great example of the shallow cross game because what you have is you have all the receivers basically running vertically aside from your shallow cross. And essentially the idea of this play is to get the ball in your receiver's hands with space for him to be able to attack. This is a great concept for attacking man-to-man -man coverage. So what I wanted to do is show you how to run this in Madden. You can do this out of any formation in the game. Um, I thought it'd be fun to go over trip side in as this is one of my favorite uh, plays that I run in trips tight end, and we're gonna be doing this out of the play inside cross. This is a, uh, a very good shallow cross play. If you don't have tight end apprentice or you're not on a first down, then you can do this out of other plays such as drive post because you can put your tight end on the shallow cross route. So I'm gonna throw drive post in the audibles and then uh, we'll go over a couple different variations. The beauty of this concept is it can be ran on either side. It's not necessarily hash mark dependent. It's a very versatile play, um, and I, it's one of the main reasons why I like it so much. So how does this play work? Again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our tight end. You're going to put him on a smart routed in route. Now, if you have tight end apprentice, even better for you because you could put him on a smart routed or you could put him on this tight end apprentice post. The tight end apprentice post is really effective for attacking man coverage and zone coverage. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this into a two by two look. And what we're going to do is now we're going to take Calvin Johnson and put him on some kind of vertical route. It could be a streak. It could be a uh, a C route. I really like the C route. It could be a comeback route, right? Any of that stuff, any kind of deep vertical pattern that is going to run the coverage off on that side. So for now, we'll just put him on a fade. And then the running back, you can block your running back. You can put your running back on a flat route to the left side. You really don't want your running back going to the right because the drag is going to run into your running back. So what I like to do is either block my running back or put him on an in route, which is going to bring him across and attack the flat on the left side. What I love about this play is that it attacks a ton of space on the field. You're able to attack the right side. You're able to attack the left side. You're able to attack deep. Um, you're able to attack the middle of the field, right? There's just a lot of areas that we are able to attack uniquely when you run a concept like this. Now, the shallow cross concept can be ran with a slant route as well. So if you want to take CeeDee Lamb and put him on a slant, you can do that. George Pickens, he doesn't have to be on a post. He could be on a streak, right? Um, but we do like the post route because it can attack uh, cover two really well. It can also attack cover three, cover four. Um, and again, depending on what you do with Calvin Johnson. I personally really like the C route. Um, and then what you want to do is if you put him on the right side, you want to smart route it. So here's the play against man coverage. Really your main read is this shallow cross. That route is super effective. Now, the way you want to read this in real time is you want to look at your tight end first, actually, um, because what's going to happen here is if that linebacker on the right side, that guy that's over the tight end, the guy that's covering the tight end, if that linebacker like basically goes like that, then there's this all of this space over in this area where you can then throw your shallow cross. 
This is another reason why you want to have a clear out so that that takes this corner and the corner has to go vertical with that, right? So now the corner is going to be bailing with that number one receiver on the right. This guy is going with the tight end and it leaves a ton of space now for your shallow cross concept. So we'll show you what this looks like here. Again, zone, it's a little different. We're gonna to get to that in a second. But if you watch here, you see this shallow cross, really nice, so much space. You get the ball to your fast players in space and let them score touchdowns. That's how the air raid is worked. And that's how these concepts are so powerful. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is zone coverage. So what do you do if it's like um, a cover three hard flat? It's glad you asked that. So what if they put somebody in the space that we're trying to attack? They'll do that when they start to run their zone concepts, generally speaking. Um, so now they're going to have a hard flat on the right side. So if I look, you're going to see that the linebacker is going to stay underneath. Then what I'm going to do is throw my deep in route or my deep post route over the top of the zone like I just did. So that's kind of the idea. Um, that's kind of the idea with this concept is if they're going to stay underneath on the shallow, then you're probably going to be able to throw your tight end in route or your tight end crosser. So I'll show you another one, the tight end crosser you see here. He's just going to get over into that soft spot on the zone better. As you can see, I like to highball it just to kind of be safe with it. Uh, and you can see how effective this is. Now you can run this core concept from almost any formation in the game. And it's one of my favorites uh, to do. So like, for example, um, let's say that I am running gun tight. The play slot post is basically a shallow cross type of play. So you're going to use this. And what you can do is, like I said before, you can create um, slant post combos. So one of my favorite things to do with this play is we're going to take this receiver on the left, Calvin Johnson. We're gonna put him on a streak so that he's able to clear out zones. Generally speaking, I like to have that done um, and so that I can motion out this guy to the right side. So you see here, we're gonna motion this guy to the right side. We're gonna take the back. We can either put him on that in route or block him. And then instead of this little sharp cutting cross, we can either drag this receiver or we can slant the receiver. I like both, um, but if you slant him, it does get him a little bit more depth. Uh, shallow cross, generally speaking, traditionally is, gonna meant, is meant to be as shallow as possible, but you can kind of use your judgment with that. These are just some different ways to run it. And you see there that I can hit that tight end against man. And, and this is also really, really good for the user because let's say that the user says, I'm gonna come underneath. I'm not gonna let you throw that shell across. I am gonna go guard that shell across so that you can't throw that. Okay, that's fine. You go underneath with the shell across and then now I've got my tight end post all the way across the formation just like this. The shallow cross concept is an absolute money concept no matter what year of Madden you're playing, no matter what formation you're running. I think this is a must have pay play in your offense. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. To sign up, all you have to do is click the link that is on your screen or you can head down to the description below.